Hello, Work Life Warriors. I hope you're doing well. Today, I wanted to talk to you about self-love and self-care. Although they are not the same, they both should be used together to improve the quality of your life. So self-love is developing all of the things that are positive and negative and loving them about yourself. So if there's positive things that you love, spend more time doing them. If there if there are negative things that you dislike, you find time strengthening them. And loving self-love is loving both the negative and the positive because it makes you who you are. Each uh, positive or negative thing about you tells a story or you have many stories or experiences tied to those things. And so they make you who you are. And so loving yourself includes not just all of the wonderful and beautiful um, things about you and the strengths that you have. It also includes all of the things that you prefer for people not to know, all the things that you dislike, all of the things that you want to hide. It's being proud and owning your experience. You're both yin and yang because the good and the bad, the positive, the negative, the up, the down, all of it makes your experience. It's no way to block off one side without affecting the other. And self-love is loving every aspect of yourself um, and, and, and being proud to be uh, who you are, regardless of what you, you what you've been through to get you here. And then self-care is the practice of loving yourself because love is a practice. It's not like you um, love something or um, you see something and you love it forever. Uh, love is a practice and you have to continue to do things and serve it in order to love it. So when you, as a kid, if you had your favorite baby doll, the way you loved the baby doll was you, oh, you played with it, you combed his hair, you played um, house with it, you changed his clothes. And so that was the way that you practiced loving it. If you neglected the doll, uh, didn't talk to it, didn't play with it, um, you got it one time and left it in the corner, it's obvious that you don't love it. And so um, self-care is a practice of, of loving yourself. It's finding new reasons to love yourself because every day you go through things and you, you process those things through reflection. And it's finding the opportunity to love yourself after processing all the experiences that are happening to you. And so through self-care, you find more ways to love yourself. You find more ways to solidify yourself, to affirm yourself, to validate yourself. And so self-care and self-love must work hand in hand. You have to first start with finding out all the reasons why you're lovable. And there's nothing more um, that makes you mer worthy of being loved except for the, the fact that you were born. But if you need validation, uh, considering the world sends you an opposite message, you should be the person validate validating yourself. Uh, so you should be working every day, focusing on what makes you lovable according to what you value, according to what you deem uh, worthy of love and focusing on uncovering those things. And then self-care is processing life as it's happening to you and taking the beautiful things and let it add to your value, your self-worth, your self-esteem and your strengths and the quality of your life. And so self-love and self-care must go hand in hand if you want to have a quality life, if you want to focus on what you can control control and see the beauty in what you can control, you must focus on self-love and self-care. So what do you think are the differences between self-love and self-care? Do you practice them both? Do you practice one? Do you feel they are the same? How does self-love and self-care show up in your life? How do they show up in your family, generational ties, your, your uh, career, your friendships? Please share with me below. I hope this helps. Enjoy your day, Work Life Warriors.